Don't you cut that shit out. We're going back to that shit. <laughs> sit, sit down, you feel me? Sit down as a blue. All right, blue, blue. Hold on, hold on. Before we get out of here. No, we're not getting out of here. Yes, we we're not getting out of here. Fuck that. We're not getting out of here. You had one hour, your Fuck hour that. is up. Fuck that. We just getting started. We is not getting out of here. LeBron, though, I finna slam dunk. Get big on you fake pumps. That bump in the fake pump. Bitch, fell for the pump fake. Got him talking like first take. Get it right on the first take. Hit the hole in the first take. Come on, man. What's your first experience with racism, blue? I'm going to be real with you, bro. Niggas in Augusta got it sweet, bro. And and I and I honestly, when I talk to people in Augusta, I I, I realize why they feel the way they feel. Cause if you if you grew up in Augusta, you live in Augusta your whole life, you never think racism still against you. But my first experience of racism when I went to college, and I was at Georgia Southern, and I and that town was just racist as hell. Statesboro is racist as hell. And I think everybody who go there knows it. And I don't know how it is now because I'm I'm be, I've been done with school. I ain't been to George Southern in almost eight years. You know what I'm saying? Probably longer than that. I can't even remember. I went there in 2011. So with that being said, they had a bar there that they didn't like black people going in there. What was it called? Rudy's. And if anybody still go to that bar, you need to burn in hell. You know what I'm saying? God damn. Straight up. Why would you support that shit? Why would you support a bar that don't like black people? That bar is racist. Though. That yeah. bar is definitely racist. That bar is definitely racist. And black people go there. All right, but Blue, your reasoning for a bar being racist, not all bars that have dress codes are racist. Man, all right. That bar is racist, though. All right, so we're so we not we going to throw that shit out the window. That dress code shit. You agree that bar is racist? Yeah. We're going to leave it at that. But you think it's because they have a dress no, code? No, 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 no. It ain't because of that. Is because I know that shit racist, and you know that shit racist. Yeah, I know. The dress code is just, it's just, they just have a dress code. I went there and uh, I told Damo, I said, bro, any place where I gotta change my clothes, I'm going. I, I, I done went to that bar and and even past the dress code, bro. Like I don't seen so much racism in that bar. That's why I stopped going. And it's crazy because I don't know what it is with black people, but they 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 will fuck they they fucking will see racism. And walk right to it. Blue, I'm about to ask you a question. You Go ahead. Be 100% honest with me. Go ahead. I told you. I hate when you uh when you pitch problems and and, and you don't talk solutions. The pro- all right, the solution. What's the that- cure to racism? The cure. I want you to be 100 percent real with me. Why? Well, I told you you don't ask me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to ask me that shit, bro. You don't have a cure. So I do got the cure, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna lie on your podcast. This guy told you not to ask me that. <laughs> the cure is Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the cure. So you're not gonna tell me the cure? No. Well, you know what? No. Nah, nah, just tell me, bro. You might as well drink the rest of your uh, Easy Jeezy, Earl Earl and Jesus drink. Man, the only cure is to get rid of all the races. All races. So how do you? How do you cipher out which white people is racist and which one of them are? Hey man, I'm not, hey man. you told me we wasn't finna go here, bro. <laughs> Don't go there. All right, I'm trying to get a job, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Blue, I was just asking. You ain't have to answer the I question. I ain't answering it. I ain't answering. Right. I mean, I was just yeah, asking. Bro. I was just asking. Bro. <laughs> I was just, I was just trying to see where your head was and how real you were after that conversation you had last night. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you was real, so hey, I, just, I, am I just real. wanted to see how real you really were. I'm real about my bread too. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got miles to feed, man. You got kids? How many kids you got? I ain't got none, but you know, <laughs> that shit cool though. <laughs> I got miles to feed. Man. Hey, you say that shit, niggas, you alone. It's you got some bread? I got miles to feed. <laughs> I, I got you, bro. I understand. Mama you need good. some new. Mama need some new heels. Baby needs some new pants. <laughs> like, up, man. I'm out here trying to get it. For real. So, um, are you going to go like the uh, Austin Rose page? Am I going to like it? Why would I like it? Because you want to see what the hell he got going on. You want to get be updated on his content. I mean, I look at this shit. I look at this shit now. I don't got to like his shit and comment on his shit or share his shit. The goddamn. But you still going to look at it, though? Yeah, if he posts some shit, I might go look if at it. If he posts some shit that piss you off bad enough, you'll share that shit and comment on it, ain't it? No. Yeah, you would. I'll comment on it, yeah. Piss me off, yeah. I'll comment on it. Yeah, I know. That's why I see you good with that shit. 
I'm telling you, we can do that same shit though, but. <laughs> we ain't agree with you with that shit. That shit tough. I disagree 100. That shit tough, man. I ain't gonna lie. See, man. Austin Rose can get away with that shit. He was getting loud and shit. Austin Rose can get away like, with that hey, shit because he white, bro. The Biden was there, but me? I said, nah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, shit, Austin, nigga. I'm, I, 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 but you I'm, know I don't what? fuck with the nigga, but one day, one day, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my own bread, and I'm gonna be able to keep it 100. Uh, 100%. Right now, I got to protect my bread. You know what I'm saying? Are you saying that because Maine just said he had to protect his platform earlier? So you saying you got to uh, protect but I your been, bread? No, I've been felt that way. I've been felt yeah, that way. Yeah, you did say that last yeah, night. I've been felt that way. I'll give you that. You and I that feel Maine on that because, you know what I'm saying, we we getting checks cut from other people right now. So we got to watch what we say because depending on what you say, oh, you I don't, don't know. You don't feel that way, man? No, I do. I But... It's like so. What I meant by that is like that. I'm saying that in, in so many words, but at the same time, I only shop with people that I know I can say whatever I want to say. You know what I'm saying? Correct. No, but you don't. Yeah, yes, you, don't do. you don't say what you want to say though. That's yeah, the platforms we have. I, but I want to be correct because I don't. I, I'm, I don't apologize. I don't like apologizing. So I watch what I say for that reason. I don't talk to niggas when I'm mad because I'm. You said the wrong thing. I don't want to apologize to nobody. I wait a few days. If, if it's worth talking about, cool. If not, then I'm glad I waited because I ain't got to say shit to you. I ain't got to say nothing to me. Oh, you don't know I'm mad at you. I ain't got to call you a bitch or call you out your name. I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to apologize. I don't like double back on nothing. So I try to watch what I say for that reason. It's not that I don't say what I want to say, but to me, that's like, I don't, I don't speak of promotion. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. Like, I never taught not to do that. That's issues. So if I ever be mad at somebody, you, you'd be like, yo, you must have got me really upset because he don't, he don't fuck around. But I'll be chilling, man. So all that to say, Blue, you can be real now. Because, Blue, I feel like, so, <laughs> this is why I disagree with you last night. You'll have a hot take, and you'll just be like, I can't say that shit. I got to protect my bread. When ain't nobody paying you no fucking attention, Blue. I'll have a hot take, and I'll just get on my podcast and just discuss it. The difference between me and you is, you'll have a hot take. That I don't think you're too sure about. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you about research. I'm it sure about all my shit. You know, what I think about this though. I think, I think he's sure about his hot take. He may, he may not know how to protect that hot take all the time. Oh, so yeah. let's say you have a hot take on something, and then I'm gonna be honest with you. I already see it. You, you want to turn a nigga like Slim, right? If you're gonna walk around first, you know, you're gonna talk around it first. You might feel like you win, and then the end, he ended up coming like he went in the argument, right? That's how it's gonna go because he know how to argue. But it's not that you don't agree with the take. It's just that he may know how to spin it, spin it a different way to make you think of something different. But you got to stand on your takes, bro. That's real. Hey, so with that being said, Slim, was the world always racist? Are you asking me that because you want me to say that the original <laughs> people in the world were black? That's what they're doing. That's see? what you're doing? <laughs> I asked you a question. <laughs> How, hey, when did racism start, man? I'm gonna spawn that real quick. I asked you a question. <laughs> hey, man, you just created this. Hold up. This is a continuation of what I did last night. I told Blue last night that I was smarter than him because everything that he talks about and says is based off of what I want him to say. <laughs> <laughs> so now you just said that. Now Blue on some shit like, you know what? I know how to play this game with you, you know Slim. <laughs> let's, let's bring that back. Hold on. Let me ask you to tell that shit. Yeah, that's funny, man. Blue ain't doing nothing, but Answer the question. Using, using my techniques against me. Answer the question. What? Has the world always been racist? Yeah. Nigga, we've always hated each other since the beginning of time. Who always hated who? Us. Who? We, we've always had these... We always had these animal styles in us Who? to hate each other and Who? fight. Who? People. So you telling me since the beginning of time, people have been discriminating against each other based off of color? People have always hated each other and found reasons to hate each other. <laughs> yes. Bro, I we was watching I was a watching reason. a video. You aren't in my tribe. I hate you, nigga. Fuck no. You can't prove that. I was watching a video. And this dude was, this dude killed this dude in Africa. Killed this dude and put that shit on, and went on Facebook Live and killed this dude on Facebook Live because he was black. Mm. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like, let's talk about this shit, man. What, where does that shit come from, man? 
Blue, before we get out of here, it's one topic I want. I really want you to talk about. Go ahead. Ooh, think I, about that shit, though. I hope this shit ain't think about the racism yet, come from, though. Think about Actually, the racism I come from. Talk about this. Where it come from? Like I said, the dude killed the dude in Africa. He killed this dude on Facebook Live because he was black. Blue, this is your topic. I want you to describe to the people what this is and read the <laughs> caption of this post. This is your topic. Why is this my topic? Just talk about it. If you don't want to, I will. See, you go slow. <laughs> you go I'm slow. giving you a chance so I won't ask you questions about things that you don't want to talk about. Read it on the mic, nigga. This is what Slim is this is what Slim wanna talk about, man. Slim said that this is a when we read the the actual passage, like in the book or the actual or the nigga commented and said. Uh the caption of the post. You this don't have was to read the uh, the picture. This was they gay ass technique from slave owners as well as called buck breaking. They would rape the man of the house Popcorn. in front of his wife, kids, and other Popcorn. slaves to try to show dominance over them. So yes, homosexual started from Europeans. Uh for the people listening, it's a picture of a white man with a hat on fucking a black man. And then that's what the caption says. Buck breaking. How you feel about that? You do you feel like homosexuality started from European white men? I mean, nigga, you proof right there. How's so, that my proof? Th- this what this what niggas don't realize, man. <laughs> yes, of course it did. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that all Europeans practice this lifestyle, but if you if you if you if you do your research, you'll realize that that shit happened a lot in Europe. You know what I'm saying? A lot. It happened a lot in church. That's what niggas don't realize. The Catholic church, that shit happened a lot. The so older, you don't think black people don't go were, there. We're gay. Um, so I from my research, it showed that before the Europeans arrived, there are no signs of homosexuality within uh within uh, you know, black culture. And you believe that shit. Why wouldn't I believe it? Blue people have been liking the same sex since Bro. the beginning of time. Man, we, and where where's your proof of that, Slim? See, y'all niggas get y'all niggas get sex confused, man. Y'all get sex confused, and I understand because y'all. I took a class on hey, human Blue. sexuality. Blue, I ain't gonna lie. I shouldn't have. I, I shouldn't have brought this topic up because last podcast you did with me, uh, people asked me to never put you on my podcast ever again. Fuck them people. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say on that bitch? I don't know. You said something about gay people, and me and me and Kelsey was. I mean, uh, Keldrick was like, "Bro, what the fuck?" Hey man, all I'm saying is, gay people are bullies. You feel me? Why you feel that way? They told you not to put me on my car pa- your podcast again. It wasn't gay what? people. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> so they gotta be gay because they ain't fucking with the bro. Blue, you don't believe people are actually just gay. You think it's all about the influences of our society that makes people gay and, and accept it. See, yes, yes, yes. And I'm and this and I'm gonna go ahead and explain. So what you got to see, and, and like that's why I'm so grateful that one of my degrees is in psychology. Uh-oh. Because I understand the mind. I'm blue the genius. I am a fucking genius. I was a genius before that shit though. I've been a genius my whole life. You don't just grow into a genius. That's what you got to realize. You're born a genius. Okay. You feel me? And I was born a genius. And I took my genius, and I got two degrees, and one of them happened to be in psychology. And I'm grateful for that because now, with me having that bachelor's in psychology, I understand the way the mind works and understand the way society works. And that's why I feel like a lot of times I will drift away from the normal society. And you know what's crazy? I told I told you this last night. I said I had a very close relationship with many of my professors in college. I used to go and I hung out with my professors in college outside of class. You feel me? So I had a very close relationship with my psychology with my psychology professors. And one thing they told me was that you, because of your intellect, and this is from more than one, because your intellect, because of what you know, just know that as you get older, most people in society will not basically. I guess you can say agree 
with what you're saying or or, or feel your beliefs. They're not far. Because they, they're, they're not they're, at it. They're not educated. They're not educated on how the mind works. You feel me? And one thing my professor said. So and I said you know because I, I forgot what I said exactly because it's been so long. But I was like, well, well, damn. You know what I'm saying? He said, well, this how you got to look at it. If you see a bunch of people in quicksand, are you gonna jump in there and sink with them? You can help them get it out. You can walk away, but are you are you gonna jump in there and sink with them? You feel me? And most of society is sinking. You feel me? And that's and, and I heard that from more than one professor, more than one professor, because most of society is being controlled by media. <laughs> Y'all laughing. But this is real because you got. I'm laughing because like I'm just thinking that I just started this podcast a year ago, and you're repeating the same thing you said on that podcast from a year ago. Well, I guess what I'm saying is real. Just a classic anniversary. Why, why, why would it change if if I said it a year ago and I said something different now? Doesn't that mean that what I said a year ago wasn't real? Blue, you gotta you gotta run for president and teach all of us your ways. Bro. I need to run for president, but you know what? I'm not gonna run for president because I looked at I looked at um. We gotta wrap this up. Bro. I looked at I looked at a list, and presidents don't even run the world. Niggas with money run the world. So you're just gonna be a nigga with money, and you are gonna fuck some shit up, huh? Hopefully, <laughs> niggas with the, niggas with the money control the world. Niggas with the money. All right, blue. Before we get out of here, I got no, 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 We're gonna go back to that topic. Fuck all that other shit. We're going back to that topic because you brought it up. We're going back to that shit. Don't you cut that shit out. We're going back to that shit. Sit, sit, sit down you feel to, me? Sit down to blue. Facts. We're going back to that shit. When you talk about the mind, you got to realize that the mind... I just got lightheaded. The mind can be persuaded right. to go any direction that you want. All right, Blue, Blue. Hold up, hold up. Before we get out of here. No, we're not getting out of here. Yes, we're, we're not getting out of here. Fuck that. We're not getting out of here. one hour, your Fuck hour is up. Fuck that. We just getting started. We is not getting out of here. When you talk about the mind and how the mind can be controlled and the mind can be persuaded and the mind... Blue. No, subconsciously. What would your first rap album be called? What would it be? Fuck that rap album. I don't fucking rap. I speak the goddamn truth. When you talk about the mind and how the mind can be controlled and how the mind can be persuaded, you got to realize that... The subconscious yeah, you stuff. Busy. You got to realize that what, what 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 people are doing is controlling people subconsciously. And so what you have to realize is that ninety percent of you is your subconscious. Only ten percent of you is conscious. You only remember ten percent of your life. Everything else in your life revolves around your subconscious, and you don't even know that it's going on because it's subconscious. You feel me? So they can sit here and they can sit here and they can promote this, and, and you and you talk about that goddamn LGBT shit. You talk about that shit, and you. T- this is what I want to ask you: If they can get y'all to love the LGBT, why can't they get people to love black people? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Talk, answer that question. Ask, that. Niggas been here since the beginning of time, and they still hate niggas, but they love the LGBT. Why? Because they took over the mind. Of America, and they got the mind of America loving this group of people, but they still hate niggas. Get the fuck out of here, man! And you cut me off because I was finna go on some real shit, but you cut me off, and Correct. I forgot what I was gonna say. Now that was another episode of Sit Down with Slim. <laughs> I'm head out. <laughs> Featuring Maine and the special guest John Blue. Uh, I didn't let y'all know that John Blue's gonna be on the episode, but of course he didn't. Uh, you know, he didn't. Goddamn, we out. <laughs> oh boy.